I'm family first, job second. My name is Chris Cuomo. I'm an anchor on CNN. Um, I'll wreck your shit. If you think you know the full Chris Cuomo story, you have no idea. For those who are living under a rock, Chris Cuomo is the journalist, younger brother of Andrew Cuomo, the former governor of New York. They came from a political dynasty. Their dad, Mario Cuomo, was the governor of New York as well. So yeah, Chris Cuomo, he grew up with a silver spoon in his mouth and had a illustrious career in TV until it all came crashing down. He started out in the 90s. It seemed like he got hired everywhere. Fox News, he was a co-host on ABC's 2020, he was on Good Morning America. It's like 167,000 degrees. <laughs> you are the best. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy you. you're here. And then in 2013, he landed a big job. He got poached for CNN. It's truly an honor to join the CNN team. Thank you for the coat. There's a hat somewhere. <laughs> no, that's the power move. You're very close because it's such a hard life waking up so early, but it's worth it. By 2018, Chris Cuomo was a primetime face of the network at CNN. You and me, together as ever as one. Let's get after it. The thing about Chris's on-air style that was so engaging and electric is that, aside from being handsome, you know, CNN beefcake, he's got that New York, Italian-American, you know, tough guy thing that everyone can kind of relate to. I, I want to read I your words. You don't cut Byron, me off. I, I, I know you don't get to it. cut me off. It's my show. But just listen. You'll never drown me out, brother. Chris. It's my show, and I'm loud as hell, especially when I'm righteous. Sad what told what happened to me. I'm a sellout. You are a sellout. You okay, are telling you me that I'm a sellout. Are... Say, I mean, so I honestly, you sound like an idiot, so there's not much to say. But, Tony, good luck with it. See you. On top of all that, Chris Cuomo is a family guy. Very likable. He's got a wife of many years. He's got two daughters, a son. You guys let me do my job, and you made me who I am. They have a house in the Hamptons. Seems like a nice life, right? CNN, it's so much anger and hatred. You know, you're dishonest people. Can I'm you, not going to give you a can question. You can you stay categorical? You are fake, fake news. I see being called fake news as the equivalent of the N-word for journalists. I'm sorry, you're fired. Get out of here. So in his defense, Donald Trump just became president. It was February 2017, and he'd called Chris Cuomo and CNN fake news. So Cuomo was coming to journalism and reporters' defense in that moment. He went way overboard by comparing it to the N-word. Cuomo later apologized on Twitter, but it was sort of like one of those half apologies. A bit of a stretch. I'm Fredo Gay, the video of CNN anchor Chris Cuomo losing his school after a heckler called him Fredo goes viral. In August 2019, Chris Cuomo was at a party and one of his fans came up to him and uh, called him Fredo. I thought, I thought that's who you were. No, oh. punk ass bitches from the right call me Fredo. My name is Chris Cuomo. I'm an anchor on CNN. Oh. Fredo is from The Godfather. He was that weak brother. Isn't that your and brother? And they use though? it as an Italian aspersion. Any of you Italian? I'm a little you Italian? I got, I got a little it's bit. A it's an insult to your people. I didn't know that. It's an insult to your people. It's like the N-word for us. He brought up the N-word again. What is his obsession with being called a racial slur? Is calling an Italian Fredo the same as calling a black person the N-word? <laughs> Meanwhile, if you talk to any Italian-American, they're like, wait, that's a bad word? Cuomo goes completely ballistic. What? What are you going to do about I'll it? I'll I'm ruining your shit. You call me Fredo. Take a swing. Take a swing. Watch your hands. Take a swing. Watch your hands. Take a swing. No, no, come on, boy. Come on, boy. So you want to call me shit? Call me shit. Hey, listen, man. I'm not doing anything. I'll wreck your shit. What Chris Cuomo did was horrible. His language was horrible. He looked like a total out of control animal. He lost it. I'm no psychologist, but I can see why Chris Cuomo might have taken umbrage with this being the younger, less famous, less powerful brother to Andrew Cuomo, who at the time was the governor of New York. So at the beginning of 2020, the pandemic has put everyone on lockdown and Chris Cuomo is regularly having his big brother, Andrew, the love gov, on his show. They're having like a chummy repartee. Thank you for coming back to the show. Mom told me I had to. Yeah, I called mom. She said I was her favorite. I mean, it seemed like they were real friends, real brothers who could kind of make fun of each other. I don't think most of America, and certainly not New Yorkers at that time, 
had any problem with it. So then something crazy happens. In April of that year, Chris has gotten COVID during this and he's filming from his basement in his house. He has an encounter with a biker that comes onto his Hamptons property. I said, you're supposed to be quarantining. What are you doing out? What are you doing with all these people? And Chris Cuomo goes off on this guy. He basically gets in the papers for being uh, a jerk again. He started getting very agitated very quickly. He said, you have not seen the last of me over this and you will meet me again over this. Later, he goes on a radio show and he says, this is the hard part about being famous. I don't want some jackass, loser, fat tire biker to be able to pull over and get in my face and in my space and talk to me. I don't wanna hear it. On the one hand, this was early in the pandemic and we didn't know how dangerous COVID was. So this guy had a point, but on the other hand, this is Chris Cuomo's property and he's with his family. You know, this was his bubble. Get the away from his bubble. So then in June of 2020, Chris's wife is doing a video on social media of herself doing yoga and he's caught in the background, but naked. So what are we supposed to take away from this? That Chris Cuomo and Christina are Southampton swingers? Are they nudists? Chris is obviously very proud of his body and he should be. The video was quickly deleted, but not before my brain memorized the entire thing. Chris, what are you doing? Get a little pre show pump. Then in October 2020, a video that Chris made back in July of him getting ready for a show caught the attention of the internet. He's like lifting a hundred pound weight like a dumbbell with like one arm. Like people go nuts. The weightlifting community personally offended by this. Typing while holding a hundred pound dumbbell in his hand. We all know it's fake. Mm -hmm. If it's real, He's stronger than anyone I've ever seen use a dumbbell. Wow. But I think at this point, like Chris had become really full of himself and loved getting the extra little bit of attention. You know, he's like, well, it's been a couple months since the butt went viral. I gotta poke the bear a little bit. And the bear is angry internet trolls. 2021 is when it all went to hell for the Cuomos. He sexually harassed me. I am not confused. This just did not happen. They took their chance to the streets, marching from the park Louder! down Broadway. Hey, Cuomo, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo has given up his fight to hold on to office, facing serious allegations of sexual misconduct and harassment in the workplace. Governor Cuomo stepped down. He resigned as governor of New York in August. And then we later learned that his little brother, while still hosting a CNN show, had been secretly advising his older brother's inner circle on how to deal with this sex scandal. New York's attorney general uncovered new evidence of Chris Cuomo's involvement in helping his older brother. Chris Cuomo had even offered his services to find out information on some of the women accusing Andrew of sexual misconduct. Yikes. Journalism Ethics 101 fail. In December 2021, CNN fires Chris Cuomo. Through the whole ordeal, Chris defended himself, saying that he prioritized family first. I know where the line is. I can respect it and still be there for my family, which I must. CNN said in a statement that his role was much bigger than he led his viewers to believe. The host posting on Twitter, this is not how I want my time at CNN to end but I have already told you why and how I helped my brother. It's hard to say when and what CNN knew, but a day after the firing, he has a sexual misconduct allegation hurled at him from 2005. He walked right into the bar, walked right over to me, slipped one hand down my body to my buttocks and squeezed really hard on my cheek and she finally got revenge on him a million years later. So Chris acknowledged that it happened and that he apologized to her and he meant it. New York State was done with this political dynasty. As soon as Andrew fell, the dominoes kept falling and Chris was right there. Stick a fork in it, they're done. By October 2022, Chris Cuomo is back on the air in a much, much smaller capacity for News Nation. And every time he's asked about the scandal that got him fired, he insists that, you know, he did the right thing. It was about helping my brother in a hard way and doing it in a way that I didn't thought, think compromise what matters. So Chris acknowledges that he will never have the gigantic audience that he once did. And he has a lot of kind of controversial figures on his show. And so maybe he's trying to, you know, find a new audience and a new path for himself going forward. It seemed like in 2018, 19, the prime time exposure got to Chris Cuomo's head and he started acting pretty erratically. And it all seemed sort of generally lighthearted until it got real serious and he lost his job. 
I had a challenging year, right? No big deal. Taught me a lot of things. 